In the annals of ancient Greek mythology, few creatures are as intriguing and emblematic as the Minotaur, a monstrous hybrid with the body of a man and the head of a bull. Born from the union of human deceit and divine curse, the Minotaur's tale is woven into the fabric of myth, encapsulating themes of punishment, ingenuity, and the eternal struggle between man and monster. This narrative not only explores the origins and story of the Minotaur, but also seeks to uncover the layers of meaning behind the myth. As we embark on this journey, we aim to reveal how this ancient legend reflects the complexities of human nature and continues to resonate through centuries. The birth of the Minotaur In the shimmering realm of Crete, the story begins with King Minos, who prayed to Poseidon for a sign of support to claim the throne. Poseidon answered by sending a magnificent bull from the sea, intended as a sacrifice back to the god. However, Minos, mesmerized by the bull's beauty, chose to keep it, inciting Poseidon's wrath. In retaliation, Aphrodite cast a spell on Poseidon, Minos's wife, igniting an uncontrollable desire within her for the divine bull. The offspring of this unnatural union was the Minotaur, a creature that embodied the consequences of human hubris and divine vengeance. This chapter delves into the symbolic birth of the Minotaur, examining its implications for the Cretan monarchy and its reflection on the Greek god's capricious nature. The conception of the Minotaur is steeped in the themes of betrayal and retribution. King Minos' refusal to sacrifice the bull as promised to Poseidon represents a breach of faith, a common motif in Greek mythology where broken vows often lead to dire consequences. The gods, in their omnipotence, do not take such slights lightly, and the punishment is usually poetic in its justice. The curse placed upon Poseidon is a direct reflection of Minos's greed and arrogance, manifesting in a form that is both shocking and symbolic. The Minotaur, therefore, is not merely a monster, but a representation of the twisted fruits of deceit and the inevitable downfall that follows hubris. The Labyrinth Prison of the Minotaur To contain the shame and danger the Minotaur represented, King Minos commissioned Daedalus, a master craftsman, to construct the labyrinth, a maze of unparalleled complexity. The labyrinth served not only as the Minotaur's prison, but also as a symbol of the intricate and perilous nature of human emotions, desires, and the divine punishments that befall those who defy the gods. Within its confines, the Minotaur was to live, hidden from the world, yet forever a reminder of the thin line between human and beast, order and chaos. This section explores the labyrinth's architectural and symbolic significance, revealing its role as a metaphor for life's journey and the inner battles one must navigate. The labyrinth is a masterful creation, a testament to Daedalus's ingenuity and a symbol of the complex human psyche. Its winding paths and dead ends mirror the convoluted journey of self-discovery and the challenges that one faces in understanding their own nature. The Minotaur, trapped within its walls, is a constant reminder of the darker aspects of the human soul, the beastly impulses that lurk beneath the surface of civility. The labyrinth, therefore, is not just a physical structure but a representation of the internal struggle between reason and instinct, the civilized and the savage, Theseus and the Minotaur. The arrival of Theseus, Prince of Athens, in Crete marks the climax of the Minotaur's story sent as part of a tribute to feed the beast. Theseus vows to kill the Minotaur and end Crete's hold over Athens. With the help of Ariadne, King Minos's daughter, who falls in love with him, Theseus navigates the labyrinth's complexities. Armed with a sword and a ball of thread, he confronts and slays the Minotaur, liberating Athens from its obligations to Crete. This chapter not only recounts the thrilling battle, but also examines the themes of heroism, intelligence, and sacrifice, highlighting the nuanced dynamics between Theseus, Ariadne, and the Minotaur, and the consequences of their actions on their respective worlds. Theseus's journey into the labyrinth is a classic hero's quest, 
a journey into the unknown to confront and conquer the darkness. His victory over the Minotaur is a triumph of human ingenuity and courage over brute force and animalistic rage. Ariadne's role is also crucial, as her love and assistance symbolize the power of connection and collaboration in overcoming obstacles. The thread she provides Theseus is not just a physical tool, but a symbol of hope, guidance, and the lifeline that connects us to our goals and to each other. Symbolism and Interpretation Beyond its thrilling narrative, the myth of the Minotaur serves as a rich canvas for symbolic interpretation. The Minotaur embodies the dual nature of man, rational and beastly, while the labyrinth represents the complex journey of self-discovery and the inherent challenges of understanding one's own psyche. This chapter delves into various interpretations of the myth, from psychoanalytical perspectives that view the labyrinth as a metaphor for the mind's inner workings, to cultural analyses that see the Minotaur as a symbol of societal outcasts and the fear of the unknown. Through this exploration, we uncover the myth's lasting appeal and its deep resonance with human experiences and fears. The Minotaur's dual nature is a powerful metaphor for the human condition, where the line between civility and savagery is often blurred. The creature's isolation in the labyrinth speaks to the alienation and loneliness that can result from being different or misunderstood. Furthermore, the myth can be seen as a commentary on the nature of power and the consequences of unchecked authority, as King Minos's actions set in motion a chain of events that lead to tragedy and loss. The Minotaur's Legacy The legacy of the Minotaur extends far beyond its mythological origins, permeating art, literature, and popular culture across the centuries. From ancient pottery and Renaissance paintings to modern novels and films, the Minotaur remains a potent symbol of the monstrous and the marginalized, challenging heroes and audiences alike to confront their fears and prejudices. This chapter highlights the Minotaur's impact on contemporary media, examining how this ancient creature continues to inspire, terrify, and provoke thought in the modern era, serving as a testament to the enduring power of mythology to explore and express the fundamental aspects of human nature. The Minotaur's enduring presence in art and literature serves as a testament to its universal appeal and the timeless nature of its themes. It continues to captivate our imagination, reminding us of the complexities of our own nature and the eternal struggle between light and darkness, order and chaos. The Minotaur's story is not just a tale of ancient times, but a mirror reflecting our own fears, desires, and the labyrinthine journey of life. Through the labyrinthine corridors of myth and memory, the tale of the Minotaur endures as a poignant exploration of the human condition. In unraveling the layers of this ancient story, we are confronted with the complexities of our nature, the challenges of our journeys, and the monsters within and without. The Minotaur's legacy, rich with symbolism and significance, reminds us that myths are not just stories of the past, but mirrors reflecting our deepest fears, desires, and the timeless quest for understanding in a chaotic world. As we conclude this exploration, let us carry forward the lessons of the labyrinth, navigating the intricate mazes of our lives with courage, wisdom, and the hope of finding our way. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.